Hello and welcome to the Missy Show. Here she is now, Missy. And we've got a great show for you tonight. Someone very special is having a birthday soon and we have a special guest who's going to give us the whole scoop. So sit back and enjoy the show. Here's Miss E. Thank you, Rupert. Hello everyone. How is everyone tonight? How are you doing, Rupert? Well, I'm doing just fine, Missy. E. Looking forward to tonight's show. Watch out for Mike tonight, though. He's quite cranky. Really? Hey Mike, so why are you so cranky tonight? Well, I guess I never got that memo that today was National Take Your Dog to Work Day. Bloody hell. I would have called in sick. Oh come on now Mike, really now? Wasn't it wonderful? No Missy, e. it was a bloody disaster. Do you know that tomorrow is National Change the Carpet at Work Day? Very funny Mike. So let's see, what's in the headlines today? Oh yes, I read that, the Energizer Bunny was arrested last night. He was charged with battery. Okay. Tough crowd. But, what a great show we have in store for you. Now everyone let me introduce you to my guest. Folks, this is a very old and very dear imaginary friend of the Learys. Mr. Dalton. Hank. Rio. Hey, now, wait. Wait. You're not going to jump up and down on that chair, are you? Isn't that what talk show guests are supposed to do? Hmm. Is this better, Missy? E? No. Ah. So. There. Is that better? Yes. Now, it's so great to have you here. So, do you have any plans for the holidays? Yes, I'm going to Omaha, Nebraska. For Thanksgiving. Omaha, huh? Why Omaha? Well, I've got a friend who is turning 85 right after Thanksgiving. Who would that be? We call her Whippers. <laughs> Whippers? Oh, yes. Yes, Whippers? Oh, that's Mrs. Leary. Marion, yes. She's my friend Aaron's mother, right? And Brian Zanshwans. Okay, so it's her birthday then? Yes, and of course it's her twin sister, Mitty's birthday as well. That is Mitty and Marion in that picture. What a great picture. Yep. The whole family is coming to town to celebrate. So who's all coming? This coffee sucks. Excuse me, Mike? This coffee is disgusting. Mike, I don't know if you noticed, but we're doing a show here. Missy, e., I'm telling you, this bloody coffee tastes like a rotting goat carcass. It's disgusting. What? Could someone get me a latte? On further thought, I could really use a corn dog right now. Mike. You're fired. Okay? You're fired. Now what were you saying? Who is coming to Omaha to celebrate Whippers and Middy's birthdays? Well, first of all, the Considines are. Sean and Michael and Christopher are coming all the way from Lenox. And Annie will be coming in all the way from Chicago. And Nora, who'll be coming all the way from Boston. And the Learys? Yes, Brian, Donna and Ian, they'll be coming in from Denver. All the way from Denver? Yes, indeed. I hear they may be driving. Oh, dear. Yeah. And the Wentz family will be there, too. Aaron and Gary are coming all the way from Scottsdale. 
Now of course Emily lives in Omaha, so she will already be there. That's right. And Charlie is coming in all the way from Seattle. Okay, now is Charlie's girlfriend Liz going to accompany Charlie from Seattle? No, but I hear she'll be in Omaha around New Year's. Awesome. She'll love Omaha. So all three of Whipper's kids will be there, and... All of Whipper's grandchildren will be there to celebrate Whipper's birthday. Well, that is wonderful. Whipper's family is obviously crazy about her. Oh. Yes. Okay, so will the Winds be bringing Sugar Bear with them? Of course. That dog is so tiny she could fit in a pocket. Speaking of which, I heard that Charlie's mom smuggled his mouse on a plane from Portland to Phoenix. Is there any truth to that? Well, yes. She put the mouse in her pocket and managed to get through security without incident. Now, will the mouse be flying to Omaha for the birthday celebration? Are you people serious? Well, Mike, if you must know. The mouse is no longer with us. And... So... Are you going anywhere with this? <laughs> On a much happier note. Yes. Will Jasmine be coming to the party? No. I'm afraid Jazzy is simply too large to fit under an airline seat, so she'll remain in Arizona. Vern will be staying with her. And Jazzy just may stay a few nights over at Vern's and Nancy's new crib. Jazzy loves Vern and Nancy. Rupert, have we got a call coming in? Yes. Let me put it on speaker. Wait. Hello, caller. What is your question tonight for our guest? Yes, I was wondering if you could tell me whether or not peanut butter will be at the party? Well, I'm guessing that the caterer will offer a wide variety of condiments for the guests. Oh, ha ha. No. Miss E, peanut butter is a dog. Peanut butter? Oh yes, of course, isn't that Emily's dog? Caller, are you still there? Yes, now does anyone know if she's responded to the invitation yet? Yes. Well, in answer to your question, caller, I have personally confirmed that Peanut Butter will be attending. Thank you for your call tonight, miss. Peanut Butter. She's quite the party animal, isn't she? She never misses a party. I understand Peanut Butter is Sugar Bear's BFF, isn't she? Well, there's a little beagle named Lily, who might take issue with that, but certainly Sugar Bear considers Brownie to be her BFF. Are you kidding me? For the love of God, who cares about these bloody dogs? <laughs> Shut it up, you. Yes. We anticipate Sugar and Butter will have quite the joyful reunion for sure. Huge moment. Huge. Momentous, I'm sure. Now this picture. This is Whippers with Hoppy. Oh, Hoppy. Yes. Whippers dog. He's the nicest boy. Wait, is that peanut butter? With Hoppy? Yes, Rupert. Yes, good eye. You're absolutely right. So what about Brenda's dog? Yes, folks, Brenda is Whipper's friend. Her dog is Jake. Now will he be there? Oh, now this is riveting television, folks. Well, Jake is a sweetheart and adored by everyone. Everyone hopes that Jake will attend the party. And I'm sure Brenda will be attending too. Now will Brian and I will be bringing their new dog. What's the new dog's name? It's Chance. Now I'm not sure if Chance is coming or not. Of course, there's always a chance he might. <laughs> well, everyone is excited to meet him for sure. Oh, I was so sorry to hear about the Considine's doggy, Clancy. I know everyone is still grieving over the loss of that wonderful dog. Yes, indeed. He will be missed. He always wanted to be where the party was.
He'd even drag his Betty house into whatever room people were hanging out in. It was quite a sight to see. Ah, uh, that's so sweet. Now what about Mitty's and Jack's kids? Will they be there for the celebration? Drew, Marcia, and Will live in Lincoln, so I'm betting that they'll be there. And I'm guessing Becky will be coming all the way from Boston to Nebraska as well. What about Amy and Mark, and Paige and Jack? I haven't heard yet, but we were hoping they'll be there. Now they have a cat, do they not? Will he be making the trip? I haven't heard either way. And the Clarks? Now, isn't Anne living in New York? Surely she'll be coming home for Thanksgiving? Well, we were hoping she would, but I just checked her Facebook status and it appears she has to work on Friday so we don't anticipate her being home for Thanksgiving. Well, that's a shame. I'm sure she'll be missed. We were hoping Mary and Sam Jr. will be coming home though and that they'll be attending the celebration. And we hope that that whole Clark clan will be there, including Sam and Janet. And Rolf, of course. Oh, let me guess. Ralph is a dog. Are you people off your onion? The only dog that matters right now is that corn dog I ordered. Folks, can we wrap this up? Please. Mike, are you on crack? Can't you see we were filming a show here? You're filming the show. I stopped filming when Missy fired me. I'm just here for the corn dogs. It's okay, Missy. I've got it. Thank you, Lamar Jean. What about Andy and Sherry? They don't come back often, but there's always hope. And what about Dave and Kate? And Miranda and Dexter? They live in Omaha, don't they? Yes, so hopefully they'll be around to join in the festivities. Yes, indeed. Now are they bringing any dogs? Oh, dear God. Really? I heard that Whippers broke her foot a while back. How's she doing now? Well, she's doing fine now, but for a time, her doctor ordered her to stay off her feet. I think we have a clip here of her on a mobility scooter. Can we roll that, Rupert? Yes, roll that clip. <laughs> <laughs> I want uh, you like sweat. <laughs> <laughs> she wants a sweat. I want a ride. Can I have a ride? Oh, now they don't... say, do not place children in <laughs> It says don't step on the bumper, but you... it's tempting, don't you think? But Emily, I'll follow you. Well, it looks like she got around pretty well. Yes, and she's back on her feet and walking Hoppy every day now. Seriously. Peanut butter? Hoppy. Jake? Lily? Sugar bear? A mouse? Seriously. Now, who is Brownie? And where's that corn dog I ordered? Now word has it that these dogs have all gotten together and will present Whippers with a birthday gift. Is there any truth to that? Well, all I can say for sure is that they've left a present for Whippers at her house. It's in the yard. <laughs> so, Mr. Dalton Hankrio, I thank you for being here today to fill us in on all of the juicy tidbits we all wanted to know about the upcoming birthday festivities. I do hope you'll come back to my show after the holidays and tell us all about the celebration. I'd be happy to, Missy. Well, thank you again for being here and thank you to all our viewers for tuning in tonight. Good night, everyone.